Space has aroused curiosity throughout history as one of humanity's most fascinating areas of exploration. The secrets hidden in the depths of infinity have always fascinated scientists and researchers and led them to discoveries. One of the focal points of this curiosity is, of course, the planet Venus. Venus stands as the second closest celestial body to the Sun within our solar system, and it shares the closest proximity with Earth. Over the course of history, Venus has captivated human attention as one of the luminous entities in the sky, giving rise to various interpretations in mythological narratives. Furthermore, modern explorations have enriched our comprehension of Venus, aiding in interplanetary discoveries. The appellation Venus derives from Roman mythology, where it embodies the persona of the goddess of love and beauty. Within the ancient Roman pantheon, Venus symbolized not only love and beauty but also passion, victory, and fertility. Corresponding to Greek mythology, Venus equates to Aphrodite. The convention of naming planets after ancient deities reflects a tradition ingrained in Western culture. Given its luminosity, Venus has been denoted by diverse monikers across different civilizations and languages. Like other celestial bodies, Venus held significance in ancient civilizations as a radiant presence in the heavens, earning it the moniker Venus during the Roman era, in homage to the mythological deity. Ancient perceptions of Venus distinguished it as both the morning and evening star, associating it respectively with the goddesses Ishtar and Hesperus. Consequently, Venus has been woven into numerous mythological narratives across various cultures, depicting it as the embodiment of love and beauty in Roman mythology and as Aphrodite in Greek lore. Proximity to Earth renders Venus easily observable in the night sky, situated among the inner planets of our solar system. Veiled beneath a shroud of hot gas clouds and volcanic mountains, direct observation of its surface remains elusive. The advent of telescopic technology, notably pioneered by Galileo Galilei in the early 17th century, facilitated modern discoveries regarding Venus and contributed significantly to our comprehension of inner planets, unveiling Earth-like attributes among them. In 1609, Galileo Galilei, inspired by the concept of telescopic innovation pioneered by Dutch opticians, embarked on crafting his telescopes, thereby revolutionizing astronomical inquiry and deepening our understanding of celestial bodies within the solar system. In August 1609, Galileo commenced his exploration of the heavens with his own telescopes. Through continuous refinement and enhancement of his instruments, Galileo achieved greater clarity in observing celestial objects such as stars, Jupiter, and the Moon. In 1610, Galileo turned his attention to Venus, utilizing his telescope for observation. Recognizing Venus's dual identity as both the morning and evening star, Galileo encountered a challenge while scrutinizing it through his telescope. Venus's orbit around the Sun, relative to Earth, results in its appearance before sunrise and after sunset. Galileo meticulously recorded these observations, discerning the varying phases of Venus, which illuminated the planet's orbital dynamics and its relationship with the Sun. These findings lent support to Galileo's heliocentric model of the solar system, aligning with the propositions of Nicholas Copernicus. The scrutiny of other planets, including Venus, fueled significant advancements in interplanetary exploration and modern astronomy. Venus, in particular, has been a focal point for scientific inquiry, with numerous studies conducted to unravel its mysteries. An astronomical unit, defined as the average distance between Earth and the Sun, measures approximately 149.6 million kilometers. Venus orbits the Sun at an average distance of 0.72 astronomical units, slightly less than Earth's distance. Variations in planetary orbits result in slight differences in their orbital diameters, with Venus's approximately 1.43 astronomical units, twice its average radius. Proximity to Earth has made Venus an enticing subject for interplanetary missions. Space agencies have dispatched spacecraft to Venus to explore its atmosphere, surface, and other features, yielding valuable insights into this enigmatic planet and facilitating comparisons with other celestial bodies in the solar system. 
Venus's rapid orbit around the Sun underscores its close proximity to the solar center, with an average orbital speed of approximately 35.02 km per second, slightly exceeding Earth's. Remarkably, Venus's rotational speed around its axis significantly differs from its orbital speed, resulting in a unique phenomenon. A Venusian day, equivalent to about 117 Earth days on average, highlights the planet's peculiar rotation characteristics. This includes a retrograde motion relative to its orbit around the Sun, wherein Venus appears to rotate in the opposite direction during its orbit. This phenomenon is known as retrograde rotation, a characteristic uncommon among most other planets like Earth. While Venus doesn't rank among the largest planets in the solar system, it is notably sizable. It shares similarities with Earth in terms of size and mass, yet there are discernible differences. Its diameter measures approximately 12,100 kilometers, roughly 95% of Earth's diameter. The surface area spans about 460 million square kilometers, approximately 90% of Earth's total. Venus's mass equates to approximately 82% of Earth's mass, with an average density of around 5.24 grams per cubic centimeter, closely resembling Earth's density. Despite the shared characteristics between Venus and Earth in terms of size and mass, there exist certain distinctions. For instance, Venus's density is slightly lower than Earth's, suggesting differences in internal structure. Moreover, Venus's atmosphere primarily comprises carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping gases, in contrast to Earth's oxygen and nitrogen-rich atmosphere, contributing to its substantial temperature increase. The gravitational force experienced at Venus's surface, approximately 8.87 meters per second squared, closely mirrors Earth's 9.81 meters per second squared, nearly 90% of Earth's gravitational force. This similarity influences the gravitational pull on objects, impacting weight and mass similarly to Earth. Space exploration endeavors must consider Venus's gravitational effects when navigating its terrain. Additionally, insights into the planet's internal structure and geology are gleaned from studying its gravitational field, aiding in comparative planetary analysis within the solar system. Venus boasts one of the densest atmospheres among solar system planets, primarily composed of carbon dioxide and other gases, significantly shaping its surface conditions, temperature, and pressure in contrast to Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere of Venus is approximately 92 times denser than that of Earth. Dominated by carbon dioxide, this dense atmosphere fosters the greenhouse effect, trapping heat and warming the planet's surface. Around 96.5% of Venus's atmosphere comprises carbon dioxide, driving the intensification of the greenhouse effect. Nitrogen, constituting roughly 3.5%, contrasts with Earth's nitrogen concentration of 78%. Trace amounts of other gases, such as water vapor, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and helium, are also present in Venus's atmosphere, albeit insignificantly. The dense atmosphere imparts substantial surface pressure on Venus, approximately 92 times greater than Earth's, significantly shaping atmospheric conditions and surface features. The greenhouse effect, a natural phenomenon, occurs when certain gases in a planet's atmosphere trap heat emitted by the planet, thereby increasing its temperature. On Venus, the greenhouse effect is particularly pronounced due to its dense atmosphere laden with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds. These greenhouse gases effectively trap heat, resulting in soaring surface temperatures, averaging around 465 degrees Celsius. Venus exhibits a complex atmospheric structure, influenced by factors like its dense atmosphere and high surface temperatures. The slow rotation of Venus leads to sluggish winds compared to Earth, constrained by the dense and seemingly tranquil atmosphere. Consequently, wind movement on Venus is limited due to the combination of high density and slow rotation. Generally, surface winds on Venus blow at only a few kilometers per hour, but atmospheric air movements can be faster and more intense in specific regions, particularly in the upper atmosphere where jet streams and swift air currents have been identified. These atmospheric phenomena arise from temperature and pressure disparities between different atmospheric layers. 
Cloud formations in Venus's atmosphere primarily consist of sulfuric acid clouds, formed as sulfuric acid reacts with water vapor evaporating from the planet's hot surface. These clouds are predominantly concentrated in the upper atmospheric layers, with varying densities and thicknesses, often obscuring the planet's surface almost entirely. Consequently, Venus appears predominantly gray and uniform when viewed from its surface. Sulfuric acid clouds significantly contribute to Venus's greenhouse effect, contributing to the planet's temperature increase and regulating its surface conditions. Unlike many other planets, Venus boasts an impressive array of large mountains and mountain ranges, predominantly formed by volcanic activity and tectonic movements. Maxwell Montes, situated in the Western Hemisphere, stands as one of the highest mountains on Venus, towering approximately 11 kilometers high, surpassing even Mount Everest. Nearby, Freya Montes features peaks ranging from 4 to 5 kilometers in height, covering a significant portion of the planet's surface. Additionally, Acna Montes, a mountain range in Venus's western region, features peaks ranging from 3 to 4 kilometers high, constituting a substantial portion of the planet's surface. Sif Mons, a volcanic mountain with a height of approximately 2.5 kilometers, exhibits volcanic activity in its vicinity. Danu Montes, another mountain range on Venus, boasts heights ranging from 2 to 3 kilometers, covering extensive areas of the planet's surface. Venus stands out among other planets for its remarkable and vigorous volcanic activity, with volcanic formations covering a substantial portion of its surface. This volcanic activity stems from the release of thermal energy from the planet's internal structure, manifesting in diverse volcanic features across Venus's landscape. The surface of Venus is vast and characterized by volcanic features, shaped by the eruption of lava and magma onto its surface. Volcanic complexes like Matmons and Sapasmans stand as prominent examples, boasting heights reaching thousands of meters. Basaltic lavas support the formation of these volcanic mountains, which dot the planet's surface extensively. Moreover, expansive lava plains, such as Aphrodite Terra, play a significant role in Venus's geological structure, formed by the spread of lava during volcanic events. Shield-shaped volcanoes, known for their broad bases and low heights, populate Venus's landscape, offering valuable insights into the planet's geological history and volcanic activity. Intense volcanic activity across Venus's surface leaves large volcanic plains, like Guinevere Planitia, distinguishing specific regions. This volcanic activity shapes the planet's surface and influences its structural features, alongside high temperatures and dense atmospheric conditions. The prevalence of large, conspicuous craters on Venus's surface is notable, contrasting with the smaller craters found on other planets. This phenomenon is attributed to Venus's dense atmosphere, which impedes meteorite impacts, causing them to disintegrate before reaching the surface. These craters, often referred to as corona craters, form due to volcanic eruptions or surface activity, and they encircle notable landmarks like Maxwell Montes, covering extensive portions of the planet's surface. Furthermore, shield volcanoes, characterized by their low profiles and broad bases, populate Venus's terrain, forming craters on their plains through the gradual spread of slow-flowing lava. These shield volcanoes are commonly found around vast lava plains, such as Aphrodite Terra. Craters on Venus exhibit varied shapes, including oval or circular formations, possibly arising from meteorite impacts or volcanic activity. These distinctive features contribute to Venus's unique geological landscape, offering valuable insights into its history and evolution when compared with other planetary bodies. Craters on Venus, found in specific regions, are distinguished by their large diameters and well-defined rims. They offer valuable insights into the planet's geological history and surface formation processes, revealing evidence of both volcanic and tectonic activities. Scientists study these features to comprehend Venus's dynamics and compare it with other celestial bodies, enriching our understanding of interplanetary science. The diverse structural features of Venus's surface, including vast plains and semi-plains, are notable characteristics. These expanses, covering significant portions of the planet's surface, 
are closely associated with volcanic activity. Intense volcanic eruptions result in the spread of lava across the surface, forming flat and smooth plains. These lava plains, often featuring large volcanoes and horseshoe-shaped calderas, bear witness to the planet's geological history and volcanic past. Among the largest semiplanes on Venus is the Aphrodite Terra, boasting a diverse array of structures, including lava plains, mountains, and depressions. Another significant feature is the Ishtar Terra, characterized by plateau-like structures and lava plains, offering insights into Venus's geological makeup. Additionally, the Atla Regio, composed of various planar lava structures, exhibits a broad and flat configuration, indicative of past volcanic activity. These plains and semiplanes serve as crucial geological indicators, highlighting the significant role of volcanic processes in shaping Venus's surface. Scientists meticulously study these formations to unravel the planet's geological evolution and understand the intricacies of Venus's volcanic activity. Venus is also characterized by numerous rift valleys and fractures on its surface, resulting from tectonic movements. Ganiki Chasma, one of the largest rift valleys on Venus, stretches approximately 3,000 kilometers in length, situated southeast of Aphrodite Terra. Diana Chasma, another prominent feature, ranks among the deepest fissures on Venus, plunging approximately 20 kilometers deep. These rift valleys, distributed across Venus's surface, provide insights into its geological evolution, reflecting the dynamic processes shaping the planet over time. In essence, akin to the two aforementioned chasmas, Aphrodite Terra is situated on the surface, formed as a consequence of tectonic movements occurring across different regions of the planet. Another notable rift, the Devana Chasma, lies in the eastern part of Venus, spanning approximately 1,500 kilometers in length, offering valuable insights into the planet's geological evolution. Rift valleys on Venus serve as indicators of the planet's surface being shaped by tectonic movements, causing the Earth's crust to fracture and divide over time. Scientists leverage this tectonic activity to unravel Venus's geological history and examine its internal structure. These rift valleys are meticulously studied, playing a pivotal role in comprehending interplanetary geological processes and drawing comparisons with tectonic movements observed on other celestial bodies. Consequently, these structures provide a broader perspective on the general geological evolution of the solar system and the dynamics of the Earth's crust. Rift valleys on Venus become increasingly discernible through interplanetary discoveries and observations, representing intriguing geological features requiring thorough understanding. However, gaining comprehensive knowledge of Venus's internal structure poses challenges due to the planet's dense atmosphere, limiting direct observations and research efforts. Nonetheless, predictions and models regarding Venus's internal structure are formulated based on data obtained from space research and simulations. In general, Venus's internal structure comprises three main layers. The crust, the outermost layer beneath the planet's surface, exhibits a thickness ranging from approximately 20 to 30 kilometers. Shaped by volcanic activity and tectonic movements, the crust features various cracks and rift valleys. Beneath the crust lies the mantle layer, covering a substantial portion of the planet and likely contributing to its volcanic activity and lava flows. The planet's core, the innermost layer, primarily consists of dense metals like iron and nickel. Analogous to Earth's core, Venus's core is presumed to comprise a solid inner core enveloped by a molten outer core. Despite similarities, Venus's magnetic field differs significantly from Earth's, being notably weaker and almost approaching zero in some observations. This discrepancy poses a compelling mystery regarding the formation of the planet's internal structure and magnetic field. The magnetosphere, denoting the interaction between the planet's atmosphere and magnetic field, underscores the intricate relationship shaping Venus's geophysical characteristics. The Earth's magnetosphere plays a vital role in the formation and sustenance of life by shielding it from high-energy particles and solar winds. However, Venus's weak magnetosphere leaves its atmosphere more vulnerable to solar winds and particles. While Earth's magnetic poles are positioned near the geographical poles, 
Venus exhibits a distinct magnetic pole arrangement. Venus's magnetic poles are oriented horizontally, rather than aligned with the planet's axis, and are significantly distant from the geographical poles. This disparity underscores differences in Venus's magnetic field and internal structure compared to Earth, presenting intriguing mysteries for researchers. Understanding the weak magnetic field of Venus is crucial for unraveling the planet's geological history and internal dynamics. Future interplanetary exploration and observations hold promise in providing essential data to elucidate the enigmatic nature of Venus's magnetic field and poles. Venus's temperature distribution reveals a fascinating and dramatic structure, attributable to its dense atmosphere and potent greenhouse effect. Surface temperatures on Venus far surpass those of Earth, with variations observed across different regions. The average surface temperature of Venus reaches a scorching 465 degrees Celsius, occasionally peaking between 470 to 500 degrees Celsius, exceeding the melting point of lead and posing significant challenges for human exploration. Due to Venus's sluggish rotation, temperature differentials between day and night are minimal, hovering around 5 degrees Celsius. Consequently, even nighttime temperatures remain elevated, courtesy of the planet's efficient greenhouse effect. Moreover, Venus's atmosphere registers higher temperatures than its surface, reaching approximately 75 to 100 degrees Celsius at an altitude of 125 kilometers. This temperature gradient is driven by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, contributing to a rise in temperatures with altitude. The distinctive high temperature distribution of Venus Venus's temperature distribution reveals a fascinating and dramatic structure, attributable to its dense atmosphere and potent greenhouse effect. Surface temperatures on Venus far surpass those of Earth, with variations observed across different regions. The average surface temperature of Venus reaches a scorching 465 degrees Celsius, occasionally peaking between 470 to 500 degrees Celsius, exceeding the melting point of lead and posing significant challenges for human exploration. Due to Venus's sluggish rotation, temperature differentials between day and night are minimal, hovering around 5 degrees Celsius. Consequently, even nighttime temperatures remain elevated, courtesy of the planet's efficient greenhouse effect. Moreover, Venus's atmosphere registers higher temperatures than its surface, reaching approximately 75 to 100 degrees Celsius at an altitude of 125 kilometers. This temperature gradient is driven by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, contributing to a rise in temperatures with altitude. The distinctive high temperature distribution of Venus, stemming from its dense atmosphere and potent greenhouse effect, sets it apart from other planets. This feature has spurred extensive research aimed at comprehending and analyzing the planet's atmospheric dynamics and behavior. The temperature distribution of Venus serves as a crucial benchmark for enhancing our understanding of the geological and atmospheric dynamics of other planets in the solar system. Despite being one of the closest neighbors in the solar system, exploring Venus has proven challenging and arduous due to its dense atmosphere and scorching surface temperatures. While observations of Venus date back thousands of years, significant discoveries and detailed insights emerged with the onset of the space age. Historical records indicate that Mesopotamian astronomers first observed Venus with the naked eye in the 17th century BC. However, due to the planet's dense atmosphere hindering surface visibility, limited information was gleaned. In the 1960s, pioneering missions by the Soviet Union and the United States marked the initial foray into Venus exploration. Instruments aboard spacecraft such as Venera and Mariner series probes provided invaluable data despite numerous challenges posed by the dense atmosphere and extreme heat. The Soviet Union's Venera missions in the 1970s and 1980s represented significant strides, with Venera 7 achieving the first successful landing on Venus's surface, capturing groundbreaking data and images. In total, the Soviet Union executed 16 Venera missions, yielding vital insights into Venus's surface and atmosphere. 
Meanwhile, the United States Magellan spacecraft employed radar mapping technology to meticulously survey Venus's terrain in 1990, uncovering diverse features like volcanic mountains, rift valleys, and lava plains. In 2010, the Japanese space agency launched the Akatsuki probe towards Venus, although an initial orbit insertion failure delayed its mission. However, successful corrective maneuvers in 2015 allowed Akatsuki to enter Venus's orbit, enabling ongoing studies of its atmosphere and rapid winds. The likelihood of life on Venus remains exceedingly low due to its hostile surface conditions, which are inhospitable to life development. Understanding the formation of the solar system is integral to comprehending Venus's context within it. Scientists estimate that the solar system formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago through the interactions and gravitational collapse of a vast molecular cloud. This intricate process underwent successive stages, culminating in the emergence of the Sun and the surrounding planets. The formation of the solar system originated from the collapse of a vast molecular cloud composed of gas and dust, influenced by environmental factors like starbursts or cosmic events. As the molecular cloud collapsed, it acquired rotational motion due to the conservation of angular momentum, resulting in the formation of a spinning disk. This rotating disk facilitated the emergence of planets, satellites, and other celestial bodies. During the collapse, matter condensed at the center, giving rise to a hot and dense nucleus known as a protostar. Over time, these protostars initiated hydrogen fusion reactions, shining as stars like the Sun. Meanwhile, small particles began to aggregate and grow, eventually forming planetesimals reaching kilometers in size. The formation of Venus ensued through the collision and accretion of these planetary bodies. This gradually evolving proto-Venus developed distinct layers, including the core, mantle, and crust. The internal heat of proto-Venus intensified due to radioactive decay and collisions, leading to material melting and chemical differentiation, which shaped its internal structure. Throughout its formation, Venus possessed an atmosphere due to volcanic activity and the capture of external gases from space, contributing to its thick atmosphere as observed today. While these processes offer general theories on Venus's formation, planet formation remains a complex subject under active research, with certain details still unresolved. Scientists explore other star systems beyond our solar system and study dust and gas structures in space to gain further insights into planetary formation. Venus presents exceedingly harsh conditions for life, with surface temperatures reaching approximately 462 degrees Celsius, prohibiting the existence of liquid water due to rapid vaporization. The thick cloud layers in its atmosphere hinder sunlight from reaching the surface, resulting in minimal temperature variations between day and night, exacerbating the planet's heat. Additionally, the atmosphere predominantly comprises greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, intensifying the greenhouse effect and further elevating temperatures. These extreme conditions render the planet's surface inhospitable for life to thrive, leading scientists to conclude that the likelihood of life on Venus is very low. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new space videos and more scientific content.